searches for what would be one of the signature wins for their NCAA tournament resume. Caitlin Clark wastes no time hitting her first shot. Those are all great looks. Every shot that Monica Sinano has taken, those have been great looks for her skill set. Markowski will fire from deep. Somebody's got to cut. Uh, Sinano's down there in that pinch post area, tied up with Markowski. Sinano, what a feed from Clark, who is getting double teamed. Both teams have shot eight three pointers. Iowa's hit five of them, Nebraska's hit one. That's your difference in the ballgame. Absolutely. Shelly. That one's good. Give herself nine points on the afternoon, but Caitlin Clark wastes no time in answering. I think that was about three seconds of time. Markowski is saying they're pulling my arm down on that shot. Clark. Off the glass and good. She'll head to the line with a three-point play. She took the bump right there defensively. Got McKenna Warnock in the air. Clark at the logo, book it! Another logo shot for number 22. Oh, no. I love it that it's two weeks away. Iowa staying with their zone against Nebraska to open the second. Izzy Bourne connects. Bourne had only five points in the first half. She's been playing great ball recently, however. Clark, a deep three. She's feeling. 20 points for Caitlin Clark. Kate Martin slashing in the lane. Jazz Shelley making it impossible for Martin to score, who somehow does. A valuable member. On and off the court. I mean, she's a star in that role for the team. Whip pass to Sonano inside. Fake a pass to make a pass, right? Let the defense bite, and then you have clear pass. Here comes Clark. Wow, what a feed from the freshman. Sydney a falter inside. It looked like it was going to be another turnover. Pounding her. Five. Clark gets swatted away by Bourne. Callan Hake with the heat. Iowa's turned the ball over. Just tight quarters in there. Caitlin Clark had some turnstiles going defensively against her. Shelly with a smooth runner for the first points of the fourth. I mean, Iowa's showing you a couple different looks defensively. Sonano, man, that's tough to guard. And the same kind of looks on the offensive end. <laughs> Shelly just one of six from three right now. And then a turnover. Marshall has it. Clark's trying to call a timeout. Instead, she steals it for an easy two. Caitlin Clark sitting on 28 points. Jazz Shelley made it impossible for her to score, but she does it again. This now makes it seven games that Clark has played against Nebraska. She has scored 30 points in all seven of those matchups. Kate Martin hits a deep one got to make those shots, and that's the difference in this game. Nebraska's getting quality looks. Hey, guess who just got the steal? That's Taylor McCabe. She's a Nebraska native. Lisa Bluter mentioned how much she wanted her to get in the game. Because they've, listen again, they've played a brutal schedule. 11 teams ranked at the time they faced them. The basket goes, you can hear the roar for Taylor McCabe. Of Taylor McCabe behind the Iowa bench, all showing the three ball with their hands. Yeah. Speaking of three balls, Jazz Shelley stops what was basically a six minute scoring drought. She can really shoot the three. She won a women's hoop three point shooting contest at the men's final four last year. Love it. Wide open Maddie Crawl. Back to back threes for Nebraska. 14,000, the first time this building has had more than 10,000 for a women's game, and now they force a turnover. Jazz Shelley, there's no crit in this Husker team. Now they can get into their press at 1-2-2. Two, two. They've shown that a couple times here today as well. Remember, Jazz Shelley had a great scoring performance in her last game. They just couldn't hit big shots in that third quarter in the early part of the fourth when they needed it. Starting to fall now, Maddie Kroll hits one. A possibility. 
They're going to Champaign on Wednesday. They'll play Illinois. Then they have Northwestern on Sunday to end out their regular season. 